where do you want How weird, but then there's all If you need anything, you'll come to me and ask. Anita? Yes. Uh, Morgan? Do you know where Buckleberry Tanner's note would be? After he died, all his effects were kept at the governor's office, in case family ever came to claim them. Is that the governor's office on Hollow Island? No, we have our own governor. A slimy excuse for a man by the name of Dr is probably keeping Tanner's things in his office. Where can I find Drake's office? It's in the French Quarter. You can't miss it. There are usually a couple of dumb guards outside. Why is there a fishing rod on the wall? I was foolish enough to take it as security. When a customer couldn't pay his bill, he never returned, and the rod is useless. We never get fish near to shore because of the crowd. Could I borrow it? Hey, you can keep it. I'm sick of the sight of it. Oh, did you hear something? Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought it was a silent. Oh, my God! Will you lay off the beans? Stop complaining. Simpkins didn't kill us after our failure on Bounty Island. And now we've got this new, decent job. And I'm supposed to be happy with this new start, as you call it. We've already become a laughing stock on the whole island since you told everyone you saw a ghost around here. If you wasn't asleep, you'd have seen it. If you weren't drunk on duty, you wouldn't have seen anything. Where do you want to go? One of my sheets will be perfect for my plan. I know it's mine because it's not a gruesome gray color. I don't think I'll be starting a new career. This will fool people into thinking it's a ghost if the lighting is low and they don't look closely. Perfect. Now I can dangle it from out of sight. Where do you want to go?
That worked better than I hoped. I don't want to search. Forever to look through all these drawers and shelves. Oh, oh my! Dinsdale wasn't lying when he said he saw a ghost. I've got to get out of here. The door won't open. Not leave until I say. The window won't move. I will not let you leave. This may be useful, but the inside seems to be blocked. Excuse me? Oh, I say, are you addressing me? Yes, uh, of course. It's just that no one has spoken to me in this form before. There's a first time for everything. Um, I'm Morgane Castillo. My name's Mabel Thorpe. I'd offer to shake hands, but you know how it is. Uh, who are you? Who was I? You probably didn't. Well, yes. I used to be the records keeper here in the governor's office. Why are you haunting Drake's office? I was killed by Governor Drake. I discovered he was running an extortion racket. That's awful. More so because he's got away with it. I'm looking for Buckleberry Tanner's notes. Do you know where I could find them? Of course I do. I was very good at my job. That's perfect. Where are they? I'll only tell you if you bring my killer to justice. How can I bring Drake to just... You look like an intelligent young woman. I'm sure you'll find a way. My body is buried in the ancient graveyard. What should I do? Even if I find evidence, who will take the word of a pirate against the governor? What I need is a witness everyone will believe. These berries are as hard as pistol shot. Please, uh, leave the musket alone. It's an important part of the inn's history. The musket was used to successfully defend the inn against marauding pirates. Anita? Yes. Uh, Morgane? Could I borrow the ramrod from that old musket? Yes, but only if you replace it straight. Thanks. Cleared the blockage. I'll be able to use it now.
If I blow these berries at the window, it should wake him up. Will you children stop your pranks in the middle of the night? Hello. You're not a child. No, I'm Morgan Castillo, and I need your help to right a great injustice. It's the middle of the night. Justice cannot wait for normal business hours. Ah, uh, of course. I shall be down immediately. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello, I'm Father Jerome. I'm pleased to meet you. I really need your help. You said something about an injustice. There was a murder, Father. Oh my, that is serious. I'll help in whatever way I can. We need to be sure of our facts before we can do anything more. Yes, indeed. We can't accuse anyone of murder without proof. The injustice involves someone highly important, so it's vital that there's a witness that people will trust. Yes, of course. Who is this trustworthy person? Uh, you, Father. Naturally. Oh, yes. How foolish of me. I think I'm still half asleep. But I didn't witness the crime. But you can be witness to the proof I hope to uncover. Now I understand. Of course I'll help you. I've been told where the victim's body has been buried. Do you have a shovel? Yes. Just a moment. Oh. Here. I haven't used it in a while. I guess the woodworm got to it. I'll find a pole to use as the shovel's handle. Could you whittle the end of this pole? I need to fit it into a shovel blade. Of course. I am happy to help. It's as good as new. Now to find the grave. Must we really come here at night? There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I'm not so sure. I heard these stories. Tales of weird crab. What on earth do you mean? They're similar to weird wolves, only crabs. They wander around at night and devour people alive. Father, a priest shouldn't believe in nonsense like that. When you believe in the divine good, you must also believe in the existence of evil. <sighs> yes, right. You wait here, and I'll work out where the body is. Hurry! This is the right grave. How did you know it was here? The ghost of a dead woman told me. A ghost? <laughs> Who was she? She told me her name was Mabel Thorpe. Mabel? I knew her. She disappeared a few years ago. She said Drake killed her and buried her here. Oh, saints preserve us. This is dreadful. What can we do? Mabel said there is proof in the grave. I shall arrange for the remains to be moved to consecrated ground. Poor Mabel. These papers could be the proof I came for. It looks like Mabel gathered proof of the governor's involvement in extortion. He must have thought that burying the papers would get rid of him, but the sandy soil has preserved them.
Take a look at these, father. Oh, my word. I've never liked Governor Drake, but I never thought him capable of murder. How can we bring him to justice? Leave that to me. I'll show the papers to the commander at the military garrison. He's a good man and will know what to do about dealing with the governor. Thank you, Father Jerome. What's happening? You're fading. I know. I can already feel that the injustice is being righted. Thank you, Song. Uh, please, can you tell me where Tanner's notes are? Of course. They are kept in the... Oh no. What did she mean by the fourth? Most cabinets have only two or three drawers, but two have four drawers. Is this what the fourth refers to? I need the key. It's locked. I wonder what the key was meant to unlock. But Jari was right. Tanner did make notes on everything. Golden Turtle. This must be it. It says the coordinates of Turtle Island have been entrusted to Uncle Edward. He will reveal them when the correct password is spoken to him. Now I really must find Uncle Eduardo. Wait until Father hears this news. I never thought the two trails would come together in this way. Tanner must have thought highly of Uncle Eduardo to entrust him with the coordinates. How will I ever find him? Diego, what are you doing here? The captain sent me. Said you'd been away from the ship for a long time. Really? He shouldn't treat me this way. You can see I'm perfectly fine. In that case, I'll go back to the ship. No, I... <laughs> I may need you to do some heavy lifting. You should stay now you're here. Uh, whatever you say. Be quiet. I'm sleeping here. Hello, I'm Captain Morgan. Good evening. Anita? Yes, uh, Morgan? Excuse me. Yes? I'm Morgan Castillo. Is it okay if we talk? Oof, I suppose so. I'm Pierre Lacroix. You don't look happy. <laughs> I'm here to drown my sorrows. I'm a master tailor, and my cloth delivery has gone me. If I can't get it back, I'll go out of business. I'm looking for Uncle Eduardo. Have you seen him? Have you tried looking in the tortue door? Well, no. You must be pretty dumb not to have thought of that. It's better to be dumb than work as a seamstress. How dare you! I'm a master tailor, not a seamstress. Is there a difference? Of course, it's... Uh, it's beneath me to explain. Now go away. I refuse to help any further. Sonia? Good 
morning. Do you know anything about Uncle Eduardo? I heard from my cousin that her mother was speaking to a friend whose sister knows the governor's wife. Just a minute. What was the question again? I asked about Uncle Eduardo. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I heard he was recently seen in the Golden Turtle Inn. Where's the Golden Turtle Inn? What kind of girl do you think I am? The kind that hangs around the dockside at night? Oh, that's not good, right? You should go home. Why are you hanging around the dockside at this time? I arranged to meet a friend here at 12 noon, so I set off from home at 11.30. It's nearly 12 midnight, not noon. Oh, I wondered why it was so dark. Do you know anything about the Tortue d'Or? It's French for Golden Turtle, of course. You'd have to be pretty stupid not to know that. Oh, I'm developing a real hatred for idiotic blondes. Really? That's something we agree on. Excuse me. Yes. Hey, why didn't you tell us Tortue Door is French for Golden Turtle? <laughs> it's pretty funny that you don't know. Pierre, we need your help. Will you tell me where the Tortue Door is situated? I have been insulted. I refuse to help you any further. I'm truly sorry about the insult. If there is anything I can do to make amends... The only thing I want is to find my missing consignment of clothes. I'll try to help you find the cloth, but I need some information on the consignment. Important information like that goes through the governor's office. I've already been in there. I didn't see anything like that. Oh, did you look in his safe? There's no safe in Drake's office. It's behind his portrait. I saw it when I delivered the island flag I made for him. He was in a fluster because he was trying to set a combination he would remember. Did he tell you the combination? No, but I told him to use something familiar as a clue, but not to make it too obvious. I know he's our governor, but the man's an idiot. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know the Golden Turtle Inn? I need to find it. My loyalties lie here. Ask someone else. Anita? Yes. Do you know where I can find the Golden Turtle Inn? Do you think I'm a fool? I'm not going to tell you the whereabouts of a rival inn. Oh, I see. Diego, can you deal with these men? Right, what's it to be? A broken arm or a cracked skull? Oh, is that a time? We should be on patrol by now. Patrol? We never go on patrol. <laughs> you must be dreaming. We always patrol at this time. Just shut up and move! There is a safe behind. The cloth wasn't lost. It was collected by someone called Pedro Gonzalez. Perhaps this is someone Pierre knows. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Yes. I found out who took your cloth. It was signed for by a man called Pedro Gonzalez. That is impossible. Pedro is Anita's husband and has been missing for years. Hmm. I shall have a word with Anita. Anita? Yes. Can I ask you about your husband, Pedro Gonzalez? What about him? I believe he was involved in a recent missing cloth consignment. That's impossible. My husband left the island years ago when he was falsely accused of murder. Yet he signed for the consignment when it was taken. I think you're in this together. No, I... Anita is not involved. For I am Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro? Uh, how is that possible? My face was disfigured, burned in a fire. I knew I could return unrecognized. My injury is too severe for you to still love me. I I'll always love you. That's all very touching, but what about the cloth? I took the cloth because I had no money. I'll return it immediately. No! He'll return it when you prove his innocence. Very well. I'll see what I can do. Tell me about the supposed murder. I was closing up one night when a drunk grabbed me and started molesting me. Pedro pulled him off me and, and dragged him outside. I was too shocked to fought. I wanted to kill him, but threw him to the ground and he banged his head. He staggered to his feet but was dazed and fell off the dock side before I could get to him. I couldn't reach to pull him out, and he drowned. Then the town guard showed up. And they assumed you killed him? Yes. The drunk was the new captain, you see. The only witness fled at the sight of the guards. I escaped and left the island. Do you know the identity of the witness? His, his name was Nuncho, something like that. It may be a coincidence, but one of my crew is called Nacho. That could be his name. Leave it with me. Where do you want to go? Nacho? Captain? Hmm. Did you witness an accidental killing at the Buckleberry Inn? Oh, that was years ago. I don't want to get involved. If you're part of this crew, you do as I say. I want you to write a complete witness statement. Oh, if I must. Do you have a pen and paper? I'll fetch him. Father, can I borrow this pen and paper? Of course. However, I have run out of ink. Where can I find some ink? I normally use octopus ink. Where do you want to go? Anita? Yes. Uh, Morgate? 
Do you know how to remove the ink sac from an octopus? Of course! Bring me an octopus and I'll do it for you. Please take the ink sac from this octopus. Here. Do you want me to prepare octopus soup? Oh, no thank you. I'm always worried these suckers will stick in my throat. Where do you want to go? Thank you, Nacho. That's excellent. Now go and get some sleep. I have to finish scrubbing the floors. Don't worry. I'll square matters with Diego. Where do you want to go? Anita, will you come here? I have something to show you. I found the witness, and he wrote this statement. It happened exactly as you described. Oh, we can take it to the authorities and clear your name! At last! After all this time! Thank you! Yes! Thank you, Morgane! This is a wonderful thing you've done. Now, where is the cloth consignment? I hid it in a barn at the western edge of town. I was hoping to sell it to Captain Simpkins. Why would you sell it to Simpkins? I heard he'll buy anything that will turn him a profit, no questions asked. No one will take me on with my disfigured face, so I thought I'd risk taking the cloth to make some money. Then Simpkins left the island in a hurry, before completing the deal. I wonder what he has planned. Unless I need to leave this place unnoticed, I should use the main door. Excuse me. Yes? I found the location of your cloth. It's being stored in a barn at the western edge of town. I know the place. I shall recover it immediately. You have my thanks. And the location of the Golden Turtle Inn? It's located in the French Quarter. Although that's probably an exaggeration. It's more like a French 3 sixteenths. Maybe it would be wiser to bring Diego with me. Diego? Yes? I was told Uncle Eduardo could be inside one of the inns around here. So you really believe this gossip? I don't know, but it's worth checking. The problem is that the place has a bad reputation. I would feel better if I had the best second ever on my side. Just in case, you know. You may be a little green, but you know how to talk to your men. Fine. 
Leder. Affolder jeg. That's the place Lacroix said we're supposed to find Uncle Eduardo. If he tried to fool us, so will... Oh my god. It's true. Ha! Ha! Who would have believed it? Uncle Eduardo! Never thought I'd see you again. What are you doing here? I reported the storm. The storm? How did you survive it? No thanks to you, Lamak. Perhaps this will trigger something. I wonder. Garmin. What? Turtle Island is located at... There are too many interested ears in here. We should head back to the ship. Am I dreaming? My eyes must be fooling me. Look who's back among us! Uncle Eduardo, it's great to see you again! Ah, Alessandro! You remember me! Oh, it's good to have you back! But don't you scare us again like that! Ah, give us a peanut! Ah-ha, Morgane, you are right! Thank you for finding him. I didn't realize Uncle Eduardo was a parrot! You're ugly! Ah. Don't be rude! 